This is your Peace News for Tuesday, July 16th, 2013. Silver is trading at $20 per ounce. Bitcoin is trading at $99 per Bitcoin. This episode brought to you by WeUseCoins.com. Anonymous activists staged a protest by beaming giant words reading United Stasi of America across the walls of the U.S. Embassy in Berlin on Monday. In protest of government surveillance, Anonymous's latest act of civil disobedience lit up the walls of the embassy with 10 feet letters which referenced the former East German secret police. The three activists arrived at the USA embassy, set up a generator, and ran the projection for approximately two minutes before packing up and leaving the scene, not before having a celebratory dance. Two policemen were present during the event and were later joined by more than 10 officers who proceeded to detain the roughly journalists filming on location. The reporters were searched and then detained for two hours while the police considered them first as suspects and then as anonymous conspirators. They were released without charge when the authorities acknowledged that their footage was indeed their alibi. Edward Snowden, the former NSA employee and whistleblower, was quoted in an interview by a German newspaper, Der Spiegel, as describing the NSA as, quote, in bed with the Germans. He also revealed in the report released July 7th that the NSA monitored about 20 million phone connections and 10 million internet data sets on average per day, and that the U.S.'s closest allies went even further than the NSA to collect data. Berlin police are investigating artist Oliver Benkowski in relation to similar projections seen July 8th. Learn about the default currency of the internet at weusecoins.com. A Swedish sociology professor has nominated Edward Snowden for the Nobel Peace Prize. In his letter addressed to the Norwegian Nobel Committee, Stefan Stauffors praised Snowden for his, quote, heroic effort at great personal cost. He stated that by revealing the existence and the scale of the U.S. surveillance programs, Snowden showed individuals can stand up for fundamental rights and freedoms. Professor Stauffers wrote, quote, This example is important because since the Nuremberg trials in 1945, it's been clear that the slogan, I was just following orders, is never claimed as an excuse for acts contrary to human rights and freedoms. He emphasized that the decision to award the 2013 prize to Edward Snowden would also, quote, help to save the Nobel Peace Prize from the disrepute incurred by the hasty and ill-conceived decision to award U.S. President Barack Obama the 2009 award. Snowden's nomination is expected to be reviewed by the committee for next year's prize. Should Snowden and get the coveted award, he would be the youngest Nobel Peace Laureate in the history of the prize. The 30-year-old nominee is wanted in the U.S. on charges of espionage after revealing secret NSA programs and could face the death penalty in his home country. He fled American soil for Hong Kong in May and then flew to Moscow where he's been stuck in an airport transit zone for three weeks. On Friday, Snowden said he's seeking political asylum in Russia because he cannot fly to Latin America. In 2000, 2011, the founder of whistleblowing website WikiLeaks, Julian Assange, was nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize by Norwegian MP Snorre Valen. Last year, Bradley Manning, a U.S. soldier accused of passing secret materials to WikiLeaks, was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. The nomination was proposed by the Movement of Icelandic Parliament, which asserted that the revelations produced by the documents Manning allegedly exposed, quote, have helped fuel a worldwide discussion about America's overseas engagements, civilian war casualties, imperialistic manipulations, and rules of engagement. Try the free Bitcoin wallet at blockchain.info and learn about Bitcoin at weusecoins.com. Speaking of Bradley Manning, Bradley Manning's lawyers rested their case on Wednesday. The defense built its case for a shorter amount of time than expected, but argued exactly what most anticipated it would. Manning did not intend to harm the United States and aid the enemy when he passed thousands of classified documents to WikiLeaks. Manning has already pleaded guilty to 10 of the 22 charges levied against him, effectively admitting to being the source of WikiLeaks' most touted revelations. However, he still faces life in prison if convicted of the most serious charge of aiding the enemy. On Monday, his defense asked the military colonel yesterday, his defense asked the military judge Colonel Denise Lind to drop that charge as well as another six. This episode brought to you in part by blockchain.info. The encryption happens right in your browser blockchain.info. Subscribe at youtube.com slash peace news now and watch us on the next news network. For Peace News Now, I'm Derek J. reminding you that peace is the way.